hello students welcome to the next lecture on the covariance today we will discuss about the various properties of this covariance in the last lecture we have described about the variance and its vary and its co and its auto covariance so let's start with this video myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics thapar institute india so we have described the definition of the covariance auto covariance for the multi dimension as well as for the two dimension in the last lecture what is the definition of the covariance is if you have the two jointly distributed random variable x and y such that they have the finite second moments are there that is expected value of the x square is less than zero less finite and the y square is also finite then we can define the covariance in this manner it is also denoted by sigma of x comma y or simply as this this is the this is the first form of this covariance are there this is one more simplified form of the covariance that also we describe that if you simply open this bracket you will get this this term now you can simplify it we will get since y bar is a constant value it can be taken outside so now what is that this is nothing but my y bar and this value will be cancel out for this so this is my second form of this covariance so you can use either of these covariance form to solve this problem sir now we will describe what are the various properties of the covariance we will describe for here the very first property is that the covariance with itself what is the meaning of that when you find the covariance of x comma x so clearly says that when you take y when you take y is nothing but the x that's the same what is the covariance is nothing but my variance so i can take y is equal to x in here you will get as of this what is the x of x x square what is the definition of this this is nothing but my variance so what you conclude that variance is just the special case of the covariance that is whenever y is x then we call as the variance and when y is non x then we call as the covariance between the two variables another property is for any of the real numbers if a is my real value constant number then he is here we all know that what is the variance of the constant value that's a zero so similarly the covariance when any of the variable either x or y is a constant then the answer will be zero so proof is very simple but we could do that i can simply take y is nothing but a covariance in here so if you substitute this what will happen a is a constant which can be taken outside expected value of x we all knows expected value of the constant value is nothing but my a so this is nothing but my a you can see a e x minus a e x is my zero so that is my required result so remember that this is a random variable for any it may be the discrete or it may be the continuous these two results are valid for both are there another property is the covariance is always with a symmetric and is satisfied this uh, linear equations linear equality are there so the proof is very simple if you start from any of the random variable x and y here so can i write this value as of this yes you can easily write that i can simply take of this what is that this is nothing but my covariance of y comma x that is a simple proof of this third property what is the fourth property is that is a covariance of the sum of this is nothing but my here so again we can start with the definition of this so if you take if i open this what is that this is xz plus yz minus if i open this this is nothing but ex plus ey of ez now we all know that expected value of the x plus y what is that this is nothing but expected value of x plus expected value of y so if i open this what will happen this is e of xz plus e of yz similarly i can open this e of x into e of z minus e of y of e of z now you can clearly see that what is that part e of this minus e of this what will happen you can see what will happen of this part this is nothing but my yes this is nothing but my covariance of x comma z plus what is that this is nothing but the covariance of y comma z is the required proof of this property another property is what will happen this is the that's the change of the origin that is means the change of the origin and what is the meaning of the a change of the scalar 
what is the meaning of that if somebody ask you that covariance of the x comma y is say 0.71 then what is the covariance of x plus 4 and y minus 7 it will again the same of this because change of the origin does not impact on the covariance similarly for here if i say covariance of this is there what will be the covariance of 2x and 3y it is nothing but 2 multiply 3 of 0 0.71 is the right the proof is very simple we can start with again here how you can write that this is nothing but my a b of x y i can write this as e of x of b of y now clearly see that again a b it can be taken outside it can be written as x y minus a b e x e y so i can take a b as a common what is the remaining side this is nothing but my covariance between x and y so what is that this is nothing but my covariance of x y so that's a simple proof of this result is there similarly you can start from here either you can uh, uh, you can use this definition also or else you can start with this definition like e of x y a x plus y minus e of x and e of y so now how you can open this you can simply open this bracket x y plus b x plus a y plus a b how i can open this this value is nothing but my e x plus a this value is nothing but e y plus b now i can open this this is x y b is constant which can be written outside which is here a is constant which is written outside plus a b minus now i can open this value which is e x e y minus b is outside e x minus a is outside e y minus a b now you can see that plus and minus will be cancelled out this and this will be cancelled out and what is that this and this will be cancelled out e x y minus of this is covariance of x comma y is the required this is the first method you can prove or the second method is you can simply use this definition also which is quite easier so what is that this is my x minus expected value of x now i can open this value what is the expected value of this here so you can see a and a will be cancelled out b and b will be cancelled out what is the remaining part is there this minus this this is nothing but the covariance of x comma y so based on this change in the origin and the change of the scale property you can see we can easily deduce of this so you can see firstly i can apply the change of covariance which what is that this is sigma x 1 by sigma y is outside which is nothing but covariance of this y minus y1 so now apply the change of the scale property which is nothing but my here sigma x sigma y of this similarly if you apply this you can see apply the change of property you can see here now change of the scale property you can get this are the required result so again i will tell you what is the meaning of that if you get covariance between the x and y say 3.14 then what is the covariance of 2x minus 4 upon 7 and 4x 4y minus 3 upon 5 so you can see 4 upon 7 and 3 by 7 is a change of the origin that doesn't miss so this is 2 by 7 4 by 5 of covariance x y that is a coefficient of the x what is that a is nothing but the coefficient of x b is nothing but the coefficient of y and this answer is my point 3.14 is the right answer another properties again here now if you have an, a linear combinations of this so again how you can write that the x of x what is the x of x is so you can see what is the x of x the x of x is nothing but the variance so i can write this value as ac covariance of xx i can write this value as ad covariance of xy plus bc covariance of y comma x and plus bd covariance of y comma y so by using the first property what is the value of this this is nothing but my variance of x this is nothing but my same as such 
by using the second property it's called covariance is matrix so i can write this value as covariance of x y again this property is nothing but my variance of y so you can see this is nothing but variance of y and then so on so the proof is again very simple we can open this value as this is my x this is my y i can multiply this if you multiply them you will get these four expressions and then so on now you can open this bracket and make the pairs be ac as a common here so what is this expression you know what is that this is nothing but my variance of x what is that this is the variance of y this is the covariance that's the required proof of this result so similarly you can do it uh, by yourself this is the ac of xw xv ad of xv and then so on you can easily do it in a simple manner now the most important is the covariance is related to the inner product space we all know that if i say a is my inner product space what is the property of the inner product space that is a x comma y is always be positive a of x comma x is 0 if and only if x is my 0 and a satisfied my triangular property of this that is a of x z plus a of y z then if these three properties are satisfied then we can say a is my inner product space so now we will check whether the covariance will satisfy all these properties so that's quite obvious that because the covariance is always be the symmetric we always prove so it means this property is satisfied one more property is a of x y is nothing but a y of x so that's a symmetric y is a positive definite because we all know that what is the covariance of x comma x there is a variance and variance is always be the positive value and when it will be the zero when x is my constant value because we all know that variance of x zero what is the meaning of that if x is constant so it means x is a constant almost here why uh, again we already proved that the covariance of this is nothing but here so clearly says based on these prop three properties we can see the covariance define the inner product space over the quotient vector space that means it will take the subspace of all this random variable who has the finite second moment and their difference is and the two variables are differ by a constant value so these are the various properties of this uh, covariance are there i hope you can simply like and share this video we will see the next lecture on these various examples of the covariance till then you can simply like share and comment on this video subscribe this channel for more various updates best of luck students happy learning